All right guys, today's the day we are finally going to glass bed this stock and see what kind of accuracy we can squeeze out of this 308. I'm really excited because I feel like this is gonna make a major difference in the accuracy, but you have no idea until you try. So anyway, today we're gonna be using the Brownells Acroglass Kit in order to do this glass bedding. So the first thing you have to do is you have to take the gun apart and you have to take the trigger group off of your barreled action. So once you take the stock and the barreled action apart, you take the trigger group off of the barreled action, set that aside, you just need to put it back on later. All you do is remove two pins in order to get that trigger group out of there. It's not too hard, just make sure that you don't get any springs flying anywhere when you're taking it out. You just gotta be careful. And then you chew up the inside of the stock where the action mates with the stock so that it's gonna have a, enough space for this epoxy that we're gonna put in it later. And then you need to degrease your barreled action. You put release agent on it, or you can do this before or after, but you need to put modeling clay into any of the voids so that the epoxy doesn't seep into any cracks or crevices on the barreled action and lock everything up to where you can't get it apart. Then you put release agent on it again. Typically people put on two coats. You don't have to do that, but it's recommended. And then you're going to mix up your epoxy, put the epoxy inside the stock, get everything back together and snug it up. You don't need to tighten everything. Some people use the action screws, some people use studs, some people use surgical tubing and just tie it together. It's really up to you what you do, but today I think we're just gonna use the action screws unless I change my mind. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So stick around and see how this is done. <laughs> There's a lot better videos on YouTube on how to do this, by the way, much more detailed. Vaughn Precision does a really good video series on a Savage build where he does a lot of the similar stuff that I'm doing, except he does it much better. So check him out on YouTube. He has a really good video on glass bedding. I'm just gonna throw in some clips here and there. It's not gonna be super detailed, but anyway, for those of you guys that don't know what glass bedding is, this will kind of help you out. So I wish I could tell you guys that everything went perfect the first time that we didn't run into any issues, but if I did, I would be lying. So we're gonna be completely honest here and transparent and let you guys know that the first time didn't actually go the way that we wanted it to. We had some camera issues and some audio issues and I didn't really like the way that the glass bedding job came out the first time because I'm kind of particular with that stuff. So we ended up digging it out and doing it twice. So now that we got that out of the way, let's kind of walk through this process and show you guys what we did, but we don't have audio with some of the parts, so that's why I'm doing a bit of a talk through, but nonetheless, we can at least show you a little bit of the footage and you guys can kind of get a better visual representation of what we did. So the first thing we had to do was rough up the inside of the stock and we did this with a Dremel 3000 and the bit that we used was just something that was included in the Dremel kit. I don't know exactly what it was called, but it was kind of a rounded head bit that was good for just kind of roughing up the inside of the stock. So we Dremeled out the top surface layer of the stock where the action was going to be mating with the stock. And then once we got done with that, we kind of blew all the shavings out with an air compressor and just wiped everything down and made sure that everything was cleaned off. Then the next thing that we needed to do was make sure that the action and the barrel were clean and degreased and everything. So we used some brake cleaner to clean all of the grease and gunk and debris and dirt and all that stuff off of the barrel action. And then we gave it another coat of Hornady one shot degreaser and lube which actually serves in my experience as a good release agent in itself. So I like to put that on next. So the clay we're using is Sergeant Art Plastilina, if I'm saying that right. It's non-hardening modeling clay, mineral based. Uh, it's up to you what you use, but that's just what we're using. And then after we put on the Hornady one shot, we used modeling clay to fill any of the holes and voids on the barreled action to make sure that none of the epoxy seeped into it and kept everything from coming apart in the end. Once we got all the holes filled with the modeling clay, we used the Blue Brownells release agent, the liquid that comes in the kit to give it one coat and then once that kind of sets for a little while, we give it a second coat just to be extra careful because you're much better off using too much release agent rather than not using enough, trust me. And so once we got done giving it the coats of the release agent, let everything set up for a while and kind of dry a little bit, then we started mixing up our epoxy. Now, when you mix up your epoxy, you are much better off mixing it for too long or for an unnecessary amount of time than not mixing it long enough. 
if you don't mix it long enough, you will run into numerous different issues. So trust me, take the time, make sure it's mixed really well before you ever start applying any of it to your stock. So we start applying the epoxy into the stock with a popsicle stick and we just keep working it into the areas that we've roughed up for the barreled action and try not to overdo it because if you put too much in there, you'll have a lot of squeeze out and then it will become just something that you have to deal with later. So you're better off to just apply as little as needed to get the job done, but not overdo it to where you have globs and globs of it just squeezing out in every direction. But once you get done applying the epoxy and getting it where it needs to go and trying not to get it where it doesn't need to go, if you have any extra, you can always throw it in the barrel channel. Just make sure that you have your barrel coated with release agent and or having tape for extra space to get the free float there and whatnot. But anyway, that's just typically what I do if I have any extra just because I don't like to waste it, but it's not necessary. So anyway, I put the excess into the barrel channel. And then lastly, we have to set our build action down into the stock. And this is where you want to be extremely careful because you want to make sure you get everything lined up and shoved to the rear due to the nature of recoil. You want everything to set up in the rear. That's the best place for it to be. That is ideal. And then line up your screw holes. And we are using the action screws to actually snug everything up and hold it together. Together, but you don't have to use the action screws you can use whatever you need to but we go ahead and line up our action screws thread them in get them nice and snug but don't torque them down and then leave it for as long as you want but I'm gonna leave it for somewhere between 12 and 24 hours and then we're gonna pop everything out and see how she does all right guys, so we've officially completely glass bedded this stock. Now we still have to do some cleanup and get rid of some of the rough edges and things like that and reinstall our trigger group and all that stuff before we can shoot it. I'm gonna go ahead and give okay, this now thing I have a solid these week before in a I actually of shoot it just to make everything secure up here really nice. So that they won't lock and up. And we're just going to, you know, try not to introduce any more variables than we need to. But anyway, I've already popped this out. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the inside so you can see what the bedding job looks like. So I'm gonna pop this out. It's pretty tight, so if you guys bed your own rifles, that's that's what you want. You want a really tight fit. So I'm gonna bring you over here with me. So I apologize if you guys can't see this very well. I'm not the best cameraman here, but you can see that the inside of this is pretty smooth. That's what you want. You want it to be smooth as glass. So we got the inside bedded. We just need to do some trim up work, especially in this area right here, so we can get our trigger group back in there, clean up some of these rough edges. And in front here, you can see that I put a crap load of epoxy in the barrel channel. That's because I mixed up way too much and I didn't really have anything else to do with it, so I just went ahead and threw it in there. You don't need to do this. Like I said, it was just extra and I didn't really have anything better with it or better to do with it and I didn't want it to go to waste. So anyway, clear up some of this blue stuff, get that release agent out of there, trim up some of these edges, and we will be ready to shoot this thing once it all cures.